Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Monday of the fifth week of Lent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, verses 12 through 20. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You testify on your own behalf, so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony can be verified, because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I came from or where I am going. You judge by appearances, but I do not judge anyone. And even if I should judge, my judgment is valid because I am not alone. It is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. He spoke these words while teaching in the treasury in the temple area, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. In today's gospel reading according to St. John, Jesus says of himself, I am the light of the world. This is one of the seven I am statements which Jesus uses to describe himself. When Jesus uses the term I am, It is not just a version of the verb to be, it echoes the name that God gave when Moses at the burning bush asked the voice he was hearing to identify himself. The Hebrew is variously translated as I am who I am. Here, Jesus also lays claim to use this term and does so seven times in St. John's Gospel. We also read in the prologue, the very beginning to St. John's Gospel, all things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. And what came to be through him was life. And this life was the light of the human race. We read this in John chapter one, verses three and five. We are to walk in that light and in a reflected way, that is, insofar as we reflect Jesus in ourselves, we too are to be the light of the world. After delivering the Beatitudes, Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. We read this in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. We are to be the moon to Jesus' Son, reflecting His love and mercy wherever we go. But Jesus' self-testimony is challenged by some Pharisees because they say there are no other witnesses to His words. Jesus retorts by saying, that he knows what he is talking about while his hearers know nothing of his real origins. 
As far as they are concerned, Jesus is a carpenter's son from Nazareth. They are looking at him from a merely human point of view. Contrary to what they see, Jesus is not alone. There is a witness to back him up, namely his own father. Speaking from their human perspective, they ask where his father is. Jesus tells them that they neither know him, that is his real identity, nor do they know the father. If they really knew Jesus, they would know the father as well because for those who know, Jesus is the mirror of his father. Whoever sees me sees the father, Jesus will eventually tell Philip at the Last Supper. It is therefore very important for us to know Jesus intimately, for through him we go to God the Father, and in him we begin to understand something about the nature of God. We do that principally in two ways, by steeping ourselves in the scriptures and by prayer. If we have not been very good at doing either of these, Lent is an excellent time for us to start. It may already be the fifth week, but where getting closer to God is concerned, it is never too late. A little aside, the seven I am statements are, and they're all found here in St. John's Gospel. I am the bread of life in chapter 6, verses 34 through 48. I am the light of the world in chapter 8, verse 12. I am the gate in chapter 10, verse 7. I am the good shepherd in chapter 10, verse 11. I am the resurrection and the life in chapter 11, verse 25. I am the way and the truth and the life in chapter 14, verse 6. And finally, I am the true vine in chapter 15, verse 1. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you from a verse or even just a word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. And let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. And let us pray. May the mysteries you bring to light through your sacred word, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that your word may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be upon you always, and may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>